Hi there and welcome to this new video. I am really excited to be back. I took a short break because we were moving. Uh, I was looking forward to making this video because I wanted to share something that happened to me during this move and it was something that I just did not expect at all uh, considering that I just made a video about how I was able to live pain-free for so many years and um, unfortunately I had a performance flare-up right after I made that video. I, I thought it was so interesting. So I wanted to make this video because I wanted to share what I did and also just to be transparent and share my journey because just like I, just like I mentioned in that video, um, things happen in life and it's just really important you, how you respond to them. So in this video, I wanna share how the pain happened, how the flare-up happened. I also wanna uh, talk about how long it lasted, what I, di what I did immediately after the flare-up and the pain and also really important nutrition tips that I wanna share with you here. And also how I fixed the pain in just uh, a few days. I think it was, the pain lasted about five days, but I'm going to dive into this. The flare up happened when I woke up. I literally woke up with performance pain out of nowhere. It wasn't like a gradual thing, but I kind of knew what led to that because Prior to that, we've been looking for a place to move to in west of Canada. So we've been traveling a lot, just looking for places. And the first time we went there, we actually drove there. So we drove for 23 hours. And what happened was I made a mistake and I forgot my lumbar support. So I was not only not driving my car, which I was more comfortable with, but I also forgot my lumbar supports which is so helpful when you're sitting for long periods of time. So I ended up in such a bad posture in a car that's so full of stuff. So I couldn't really adjust my seats that much and no lumbar support. And I had to sit for two day, like two full days of just driving. And I, my back was so tense and so tight that it was just too much. Like I had to do so much treatment at home and try to recover from that drive. And you know, it was just, my whole routine kind of fell apart and it was really out of control. It was something I could do because I tried to maintain as many healthy habits as possible, but we were moving, we had to pack things, we were driving so much. It, there was just so many things that I couldn't keep up with. And um, we actually did that trip twice. So which just, it was just too much for my body. And I remember waking up with this pain in my hip and I knew like it took me back years back because it was the exact type of pain. And I remember not being able to walk. Um, I couldn't, it was just exactly like how it was. Um, I couldn't lift anything, like even a very light grocery bag was so painful to walk. It triggered so much spasms. I couldn't step on my foot. So I was experiencing all of those symptoms that I had seven years ago. And it really shocked me because I thought I was doing everything good. I was, I was on this straight path. I didn't have pain for more than five or six years now, at least. And now I'm back to square one. So it was a really terrifying moment, but knowing what I know, I, um, Knowing what I know, I knew that there was no way that I was going to address this the way that I used to, of course. So the pain lasted about five to seven days. I remember the first three to four days really clearly because they were so painful. And I wanna share right now what I did. So number one, do not panic. If you do experience a flare up, just try your best not to panic. Because when you're panicking, you're doing, you start to do a lot of things and it could make, it, it could exacerbate the pain. So things like too much stretching, you, you rush to book that massage or book that physio treatment. So we just throw in so many things, to try to like fix this as soon as possible. But usually what happens is it backfires and it hurts you more than fixes anything. So something that I learned throughout the years and that I teach in my programs, you know, just don't panic. So what I did that day was I did some heat therapy. I love using the acupressure mat because it really helps me to sleep. And I wanted to relax the muscle to be able to sleep because it was really painful to even roll or do anything. So that's one thing that I recommend. I took some magnesium at night, heat therapy, you know, hot shower, acupressure mat, to just help relax the muscles. Again, this is not fixing the root cause. This is just kind of 
uh, addressing the symptoms and helping you get to sleep and um, relaxing things a little bit because we don't want to be in pain. Uh, the next thing that I did the next day, I did an assessment exercise, which I shared my program performance control. I literally did my program and I did the assessment videos that I share with my clients because I knew that those long hours of sitting in the car and just packing, moving boxes, something must have happened. Like something, an area must have gotten so tight and there must have been an imbalance that developed throughout this past few weeks that led to this and i have to know what what is it like what do i need to address and so after i did the assessment exercises i can see that my knees were rotating inwards which i usually when i do my squats my knees are perfectly aligned so i'm seeing my right knee like literally going in so that I was able to identify the specific muscles that were tightening up and pushing my knee towards that movement. So I was taking notes and and it was interesting because I actually didn't do anything specific to the performance because I identified that the, perm the performance wasn't even tight. So there was no need to go and stretch the performance. Whereas years ago, I probably would have done so many stretches for the performance and made everything worse. So. I started to do the assess I started to do the corrective exercises at home along with the heat and I can feel so much so much better like those two days I can feel so many like I can feel improvement and that I could walk better and with less pain that that was the first thing that I noticed and I could go to the grocery store and I could carry things and I wasn't experiencing so much pain so I knew that I was on the right track it's really important to track what you're doing and see if it's positively affecting you or or not making any changes and i did nothing more this is really important i literally followed the plan and i didn't add any new things just extra bonus stretches or things you know i i didn't want to overdo it it's really important that you don't overdo uh and you add too much because it can be too much on your body when you're in pain and you just end up with more pain. Now I want to share with you some really important nutrition tips uh, and nutrition things that I have done during this period and I'm still trying to stick to them because nutrition played an, a huge role this specifically this time and I can also understand that when we were moving and traveling so much it wasn't easy to cook I we were just kind of buying things on the road sometimes it's not the best options so um, I can definitely see how that negatively impacted me and increased inflammation so there were so many things that I have done uh, in this past in this flare-up specifically the, the first thing that I did was I eliminated starches for two days and I just reduced them after that so I wasn't eating any bread I wasn't eating like any starches potatoes rice oatmeal and even though those things may be healthy but I just wanted to kind of do a cleanse and I was doing uh, vegetable juicing bone broth just high healthy like a diet that was higher in healthy fats and protein but even then I wasn't eating that much I kind of just wanted to let my body take a break so I was drinking bone broth juicing and I made stew with some vegetables and um, some beef as well or chicken so just kind of making it so just kind of switching to really like an anti-inflammatory diet for those few days and I was also taking some supplements that I'm going to share with you here. So I was taking Boswellia, I was taking uh, so ginger, turmeric, all those things. And I was starting to feel so much better. The nutrition, the nutrition accelerated the healing. So it was really interesting. And that's kind of what I talk about. Like everything complements everything else. You can't expect nutrition to fix the muscle imbalances and you can't expect the exercises to fix inflammation and things like that so you really have to kind of take a holistic approach and address everything even you know your lifestyle and i knew that we were moving so i couldn't really do much about the lifestyle but at least i could control as much as i can and we were in the middle of the move and it's really interesting how when you 
when you really want to do something and when you're committed to something, you find a way of doing it. Because I was surrounded by boxes. We shipped all of our furniture. We were just living with the bare minimum and I was still able to do the juicing and make the bone broth. And um, I did order some juice, uh, some juice bottles from an organic store and they make vegetable juicing. So I did order a few just to kind of make it easier on myself. But so yeah, like you can also order frozen bone broth. Um, there are ways that you can make things easier, but I did that and it was really successful. And by the end of the week, I completely recovered. Like I recovered my mobility, the pain went away. So I knew that I was on the right track and possibly what happened was that it was just combination of the driving and process and not eating well. Um, and so far so good. I haven't felt any pain. So it was a very short flare up, but it was, it was, it was not easy. Like it was really painful. So, um, in terms of exercise, because I shipped all my weights, I didn't have any weights, but I was doing a little bit. I, I left, I think a 20 pound dumbbell that we took in my car, but, um, but I was doing just low intensity exercises and I was reducing the amount of reps. I just wanted to move and not to lose my strength. So I was doing the minimum, but I was just doing a few reps when I, when I, when I wanted to, to do my leg and glute exercises. And I resumed and I added more and more intensity each time. So yeah, this was something that I never expected to happen, but in a way I'm glad it kind of did because, um, I got to test my own program this time, even though I see people, you know, like get amazing results, but it was so interesting that I had to actually do my own assessment myself again, uh, specifically when I'm in pain. Usually I will always reassess what I'm doing, but this time it was while I was in pain. And the other thing was I, I was able to see the impact on nutrition on helping us recover faster and not uh, ignoring that area of our life. I am always going to be transparent with you. I don't think that, um, I feel like in general coaches, you know, they, they may seem like they have everything figured out. They have everything perfect. Everybody goes through struggles and ups and downs. And I think it's really important to share that and be transparent because others could always learn from um, each other. We can always learn from each other's experiences, regardless of, you know, how much we know in a certain topic. And I think that by sharing that I could help you, um, be motivated and inspired. If you have been experiencing flare ups, when you start to feel better, especially when you've lived with a chronic pain condition for so long, it almost feels like it never really goes away. Just, uh, you kind of just take a break for a few years, but you always have to be careful. I hope this video was helpful. And if you have any questions, please comment below. And if I missed anything, I will make sure to leave it in the description box and make sure to check out performance control program below as well. And I will see you soon in a new video.